So here we have the flows coming over the pond, uh, the existing pumping pond, uh, into the backwater created by the newly constructed uh, L4 structure. So this is the backwater from the L4 structure and the ponded area. Coming up to the L4 structure, it's a nice even flow across the seal, the log seal of L4. And a nice gentle flow down the rock ladder into the pool below. So there's a book, good backwater pool from a small rock rear we've um, reconstructed downstream of L4 as well which then flows down into another ponded area um, at a re-entry point. But as you can see, the structures are creating a really nice series of ponds. The rock batter of L4 is controlling the, the flow over nicely. It's a nice gentle re-entry into the backwater created by the small rock rear downstream. So this is the rock weir that we decided to put in as a bit of a last minute decision to just create a bit more backwater back to L4. As you can see, it's working quite effectively. And this is the ponded area at a re-entry point for flood runner that comes off L7 upstream. We've put a small rock groin in here just to redirect the return flows from the flood runner back onto the flows of the main channel to help dissipate the energy of those flows. But as you can see at the moment, there's probably not much at all coming out of that flood runner, if anything. And it's really just a nice, gentle pool. There's a little bit of water going around the left side of the L31 structure. So we might just get a little bit more rock to top it up. Make sure that it's not going to short circuit around the structure there. And velocity of flow is very gentle. So, the other bit we've done is build this additional rock groin structure here. And essentially, what this has done is re engaged the outside meander bend, which is working really well. So, before we put this rock groin in yesterday, the flows were short circuiting down through this channel here and so created in the last six months of high flow events six to nine months those are 12 months of high flow events it's quite significant head cut it's in the order of a meter deep so the rock groin has been quite effective already at diverting the flows away from this rock groin as you can see, we've got no flow from the main channel going onto this um, onto this head cut now. The water here is just ponded water, pulled water. And instead, we've got the flows in the cascade of rock weirs going back around this nice one. gentle flows back down into what will be the backwater pool of the L2 structure which is just downstream of here. Once the L2 structure is constructed all of this will be all this main channel here will be will be pulled and and will effectively drown out the head cut.
So that's the works, one to two days following construction at Laruna.